have been reserved for the king's pleasure. Therefore, the king's portion is reserved for you. A prepared position awaits you with the king of kings sitting at the head of the table. He desires that you sup with him in the presence of your enemies. By accepting his personal invitation, your needs are met, the desires of your heart fulfilled, and to top it off, you will receive the exceeding abundant above all you can ask for or even think of. Imagine that. The more you understand the king's heart, without a shadow of a doubt, you will begin to make more room for heaven's treasures. Welcome to King's Question. This is Catherine Dre Foster. The theme of our program today is the Tsunami Blessing Inside and Out. And this is part four. We're going to look at three levels of receiving. Receiving our needs, receiving the desires of our heart, and also receiving far beyond what we can ask or even imagine. The first level we want to look at are the needs. And then Philippians, the fourth chapter, the 19th verse, and this is from the voice translation, and it reads, Know this, my God will also fill every need you have according to his glorious riches in Jesus the anointed, our liberating king. So he said he fills. So that's thinking about tsunami, filling and overflowing. So also the desires of our heart in Psalm the 37th division, the fourth verse. And again, this is from the voice translation. It reads, take great joy in the eternal. His gifts are coming and they are all your heart desires. What it's saying is that God's going to give you your heart's desire, but you want to make sure that you're not making your heart's desire your God. So in this is saying, okay, as you delight in him, as you're taking great joy in him, as you're saying, I'm triumphant because of you and not of your heart's desires, then you'll be able to separate that and it'll be easier for you to receive them. Now, the third level is Ephesians, the third chapter, the 20th verse. And we're going to read that also from the voice translation. And it reads, now to the God who can do so many awe-inspiring things, immeasurable things, things greater than we ever could ask or imagine through the power at work in us. So this is like having the seed within us and the seed of miraculous power in us. And we're working that seed like yeast in a bread. And then from that, will get the explosive blessings. So there are the three levels and God wants you to receive on every level. Now, what do we want to say to you today is heaven's economy is God supplies the demand. With that in mind, Holy Spirit will build your capacity to receive and to give on every level. The kingdom of God operates on the principles of sowing and reaping. Taking is of the world system unless you are repossessing what you own from enemy territory. The original blessing still holds true today. God commands you to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. And since that is the absolute truth, you already either are the seed or have seed to harvest heaven-born possibilities. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. Please plan to stay tuned for the entire program today. The Catherine Joy Foster Music Ministries is a 21st century multimedia marketplace ministry. In your discovery, you will find the power of God present to go where you are, to take you where Jesus is. Raising you up, repairing you, restoring you so that you can be as Jesus is in this world. Now available for workshops, banquets, conferences, webinars, concerts, prayer meetings. You can call area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Again, that's area code 216-486-8615. One five extension one. Proud to be an advertiser for King's Portion Web Radio. 
thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is the tsunami blessing inside and out. Heaven's economy. God supplies the demand. With that in mind, Holy Spirit will build your capacity to do receive and to give on every level. The kingdom of God operates on the principles of sowing and reaping. Taking is of the world system unless you are repossessing what you own from enemy territory. The original blessing still holds true today. God commands you to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. Since that is the absolute truth, you already have the seed or you already are the seed to harvest heaven-born possibilities. First, we said that there are three levels to receive your needs, their desires of your heart, and the way beyond what you can even imagine. Now we're going to talk about actually fear, because fear will stop you from giving and fear will stop you from receiving. In 2 Timothy, the first chapter and the seventh verse is, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound of mind. Now that same verse from the Orthodox Jewish Bible says that that fear will stop you because it's like terror. But he says he's given you not just power, but miraculous power. He's given you his love, which is love conquers all. And then he's given you a sound mind, which is judgment, your ability to choose the best. So let's look at what could stop you from giving. There is a fear that could stop you from giving. It'll make you either dismayed or have some apprehension, which means that you look at it as painful expectation, or it can also affect the level of dread where you are reluctant to give. In First Chronicles, the 22nd chapter, the 12th and the 13th verses read, only the Lord give you wisdom and understanding, give you charge concerning Israel, that thou mayest keep the law of the Lord thy God. Then shall thou prosper if thou takest heed to fulfill the statutes and judgment which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage. Dread not, nor be dismayed. So he's telling you to be fearless. Now there's also a fear of receiving and that fear deals with the terror so there is that torment which will cause you to lack courage and confidence and there's also the oppression which it tries to dominate you where you can't receive with cheer or contentment but in isaiah the 54th chapter beginning with the 14th verse it tells us that fear is not going to come near you. So in righteousness, you'll be established because that means you'll believe right and you should be far from oppression so it can't stop you from receiving and you will not fear and from terror, so terror can't stop you either. So it will not come nigh you. Okay, what God is saying in these verses is that he did not send the thing against you, but he'll stop the thing that tries to come against you. And it says this in verse 17, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every time that shall rise up against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. So he's giving you the power to condemn the judgment against you. He said, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness of me, saith the Lord. So we're going to take this time now to actually activate this. So then you can know that you're free. So we're going to say to fear, we bind you fear, terror, oppression, apprehension, and dread, and we cast you out for good. You will not come against God's people in the name of Jesus. So we invite the love of God, the power of God, the judgment of God on our behalf that we will always be able to choose the best. Now on our program today, you can enjoy the music of the voices of Mega. Now let's welcome them as they sing Rejoice.
visit us on the web at blog.kingsportionlive.com. That's blog.kingsportionlive.com. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. Heaven's economy. God supplies the demand. With that in mind, the Holy Spirit will build your capacity to receive and to give on every level. The kingdom of God operates on the principles of sowing and reaping. Taking is of the world system unless you are repossessing what you own from enemy territory. The original blessing still holds true today. God commands you to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, to do, and have dominion. And since that is the absolute truth, you already are the seed or you have the seed to harvest heaven-born possibilities. So we said there's three levels of receiving. You can receive your needs met, your desires of your heart, and above that which you can ask or think. And then number two, we're saying also then that we need to get rid of the fear to stop you from giving and receiving. Now we're going to give you an example of the unjust judge. And this is Jesus talking about how to deal with injustices and how God will deal with your injustices. So it says in Luke, the 18th chapter, the first through the seventh verses, and this is from the voice translation reads, Jesus told them a parable, urging them to keep on praying and never grow discouraged. The parable went like this. There was a judge living in a certain city. He showed no respect for God nor humanity. In the same city, there was A widow, again and again, she kept coming to him seeking judgment. Clear my name from my adversary's false accusations. He paid no attention to her request for a while. But then he said to himself, I don't care about what God thinks of me, much less what any mere human thinks. But this woman is driving me crazy. She's never going to quit coming to see me unless I hear her case and provide her legal protection. Did you catch what this self-assured judge said? If he can be moved to act justly, won't God bring justice for his chosen people when they cry to him day and night? Will he be slow to bring them justice? And it says that, yes, God will come to your help in the time and trouble. And no, he will not be slow to bringing you justice. In Deuteronomy, it talks about this in chapter 32 in the 36th verse. And it says that God will revoke sentence for people and relent for his servant's sake when he sees that their power is gone and none remains, whether bond or free. And then let's also look in Hebrews, the 10th chapter and the 30th verse, it says, for we know him who said, vengeance is mine, retribution and the meeting out of full justice rest with me. I will repay. I will exact The compensation says the Lord. And again, the Lord will judge and determine and solve and settle the cause and the cases of his people. Can you hear the gavel coming down in your favor? Because you have favor with the judge and the judge just happens to be your dad, Abba Father. I'll be right back after this message from my sponsor. I was just standing there basking in the sun and all of a sudden, I was soaking wet. There wasn't a sign in the sky. So I was unprepared without an umbrella. But in the end, it just didn't matter. I loved every minute of it. I knew I was living under open heavens. It really does give new meaning to being overtaken by blessing. Not a dry spot. This is Fran the Fan of H-D-O-R. Uh-oh, here comes the rain again. You've been listening to King's Portion Live with web host Catherine Joy Foster. Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion, which bears the theme, the tsunami blessing inside and out. Heaven's economy. God supplies to the man. With that in mind, Holy Spirit will build your capacity to receive and to give on every level. 
The kingdom of God operates on the principles of sowing and reaping, taking us of the world system, unless you are repossessing what you own from enemy territory. The original blessing still holds true today. God commands you to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, to do, and have dominion. Since that is the absolute truth, you already are the seed or have the seed to harvest heaven born possibilities. So he says that God will come to your rescue if you're facing injustices. Now we're going to talk about if there is a friend that is sticks closer than a brother, and it happens to be Jesus. So then even if you came to him, and we call this importunity, which means you're making demand, you're making supplication that you will be heard. We're going to look in Luke, the 11th chapter, the 5th through the 10th verses, and this is from the voice translation, and it reads, imagine that one of your friends comes over at midnight. He bangs on the door and shouts, friend, Will you lend me three loaves of bread? A friend of mine just showed up unexpectedly from a journey and I don't have anything to feed him. Would you shout out from your bed? I'm already in bed and so are the kids. I already locked the door. I can't be bothered. You know this as well as I do. Even if you don't care that your fellow was your friend, if he keeps knocking long enough, you'll get up and give him whatever he needs simply because of his brash persistence. So listen, keep on asking and you will receive. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened for you. All who keep asking will receive. All who keep seeking will find. The doors will be open to those who keep knocking so what is saying that you knock in faith you knock with thanksgiving and then it won't be long before you won't have to knock ask or receive because you'll have the promise that you've been persistently working god with and you're not getting on his nerve and he'll get up at midnight again on our program today you can enjoy the music of the voices of Mega. Now let's welcome them as they sing, I'll Follow You.
welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is a tsunami blessing inside and out. Heaven's economy, God supplies the demand. With that in mind, Holy Spirit will build your capacity to receive and to give on every level. The kingdom of God operates on the principles of sowing and reaping, taking this of the world's system unless you are repossessing what you own from enemy territory. The original blessing still holds true today. God commands you to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, to do and have dominion. And since that is the absolute truth, you already are the seed or have the seed to harvest heaven born possibilities so what we're saying is that if you are going to an unjust judge he may not give you what you want or may not want to but just give it because you're still going there but when we come before our father he has another way of how he deals with you because it would be speedily because he wouldn't want you to be in harm's way then as a friend a friend may not want to give it to you if you're demanding something at midnight but god is not like that he said because he never sleeps or slumbers and he his eyes run to and fro throughout the whole earth to see whose heart is perfect toward him because he is ever disposed to want to give to you now we're going to talk about god as being a father and so he's talking about he wants to give every good and perfect gift to you and there is no variableness he desires to give you from his heart just by the invitation now let's look in luke the 11th chapter the 9th through the 13th verses and this is from the voice translation it reads this is jesus so listen keep on asking you receive keep on seeking you will find keep on knocking and the door will be open for you all who keep asking will receive all who keep seeking will find and doors will be open to those who keep knocking some of you are fathers so ask yourself this if your son comes up to you and asks for a fish for dinner will you give him a snake instead if your boy wants an egg to eat will you give him a scorpion Look, all of you are flawed in so many ways, yet in spite of all your faults, you know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven give you the Holy Spirit to all who ask? So says, this is by invitation. God is expecting you to ask as his son or daughter, and he already has been working on what he always wanted to get to you, the desires of his heart. You might say, well, you don't qualify. Well, all you need to do is ask Jesus to come into your heart. And that's the beginning of everything because then now you're not just a say, but Jesus is your big brother, which means God is your father. So you can experience the love of a father like no other. So why don't you say this prayer after me? Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to save me from my sin. Cleanse me with your blood and from all unrighteousness. Come into my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. Acknowledge that old things have passed away and all things are new. And I thank you that now I'm the newest member of the body of Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So if you said that prayer, why don't you email us at info at kingsportionlot.com. That's info at kingsportionlive.com and we'll send you some encouragement along the way. Now let's return to the remaining portions of King's Portion after this message from our sponsor. We invite you to visit our new interactive website. Please log on to www.kingsportionlive.org That's www.kingsportionlive.org we believe that you will discover something that will speak to the royal blood in you. Thanks for staying tuned for the conclusion of our program today, which bears the theme, the tsunami blessing inside and out. Heaven's economy, God supplies the demand. With that in mind, Holy Spirit will build your capacity to receive and to give on every level. The kingdom of God operates on the principles of sowing and reaping. So taking is of the world system unless you are repossessing what you own from enemy territory. The original blessing still holds true today. God commands you to be fruitful, 
multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. Still, that is the absolute truth. You already have the seed or you are the seed to harvest heaven born possibilities. So we need to say, how can we activate the seed? How can we activate receiving the harvest? We're going to look in Hebrews, the 11th chapter, the 13th through the 16th verses. And first, we're going to look in the Living Bible and it reads, These men of faith, I have mentioned, died without ever receiving all that God had promised them, but they saw it all awaiting on ahead and were glad, for they agreed that this earth was not their real home, but that they were just strangers visiting down here and quite obviously when they talked like that they were looking forward to their real home in heaven if they had wanted to they could have gone back to the good things of this world but they didn't want to they were living for heaven and now god is not ashamed to be called their god for he has made a heavenly city for them so it's saying that god had already given them the capacity to receive everything he wanted them to receive and everything was going okay they were waiting for it and everything but when they agreed that they would rather be in heaven than on earth that is what made the transformation different they transitioned what they wanted and it wasn't down here now let's look at the four things that need to happen if you really want to receive everything God has for you. So you're trying to get heaven to earth and not instead of earth to heaven right now. Okay. So in the same verses in the King James Version, it says that these all died in faith, not receiving the promises, but number one, having seen them from afar. So that means that you have a vision of that which God wants for you in the earth. Number two, that they were persuaded of them. That means that you weren't vacillating, going back and forth. And then number three, it says embrace them. That means that you made room from them. And you said you acquainted with them as an owner. And then fourth, it says they confess them. Now, if they had confessed the promises, they would have received the promises. But because they had some mixture in their confession then they said oh we're just strangers here oh we're just pilgrims here oh we're we rather go to heaven i mean we want this but we rather go to heaven so what happened is that what they wanted they got what they had their eyes set on the most they got what they were persuaded by the most they got whatever they embraced more they got and whatever they confessed the most they got we have to understand that's the principles of receiving by faith. Whatever you said last, whatever you said most, is what you believe. That's what you receive. This is Catherine Joy Foster for King's Portion, where we speak to the royal blood in you. You have been listening to the King's Portion with radio host Catherine Joy Foster. Today's podcast is available for download. Log on to blog.kingsportionlive.com or email info at kingsportionlive.com.